Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today I have another video for you from dbrand. And just so you know, I bought these items, they weren't given to me, but I did ask them a question, so, I don't know, maybe they sent me something cool. Let's find out. So, let's open it up. Alright, let's, so... Honestly, I already forgot what I ordered, so let's see what I got. So we got a black camo S9 back. We got a single packing peanut, which is super squished. Maybe that's a special thing they sent me. Um, okay, so here's all this stuff. I just grabbed it all. So they gave me two cleaning cloths, so that's pretty cool. And here's my black camo for the S9 Plus. Here's my black camo for the iPhone X. Uh, let's see what they have in here. Oh yeah, I forgot I ordered the yellow one. That's actually why I made this video, because of the yellow carbon fiber and the gray black carbon fiber? I don't know, I already forgot. So here's my black camo. It's pretty cool. They send you the full thing, like for the sides and everything. And they send you one for like if you want to put it just on the back glass. Here's one of the new colors that they have. It's kind of like a gray carbon fiber. Looks pretty cool. And then the other camera lens one that I ordered, it was just a black camo as well. So for this video, we're going to do the yellow and gray, but at first we're going to start with the S9 Plus. Okay, so here's the S9 Plus. Here's a little camera thing. It's kind of obvious, but if you don't know, they have an arrow pointing up to show you, you know, how to put the camera thing on there. So let's clean up the back and let's get started on this. I guess technically it doesn't have to be like fully clean, but either way, I want to make it perfect and Definitely want to make sure there's no dust or anything or else it'll cause bubbles. Well, I don't know how thick this adhesive is. Maybe it won't. Either way. So I've watched a few videos on how to install these and I don't know. I'm still not too good at installing these. Um, I'm just going to try to line up the camera and hope everything else works. Oh, another thing too is I'm like at an angle and I'm behind the camera. So I don't want to get in front of the camera. So this is it's pretty difficult to do. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit easier if you're, you know, doing it on your own, but I don't know. This is, this is a bad idea. But so far, it looks pretty good. Let's push this whole thing down, and then we'll spread out all the bubbles, and then we'll get the sides down. So I think I did pretty good, actually. Probably not perfect, but either way. Okay, now I caused a wrinkle in here, so I got to lift this side up. Hopefully the adhesive is pretty strong and pretty reusable, which I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it is. All right, yeah, this seems to curve pretty good, actually. Okay, so the bottom part isn't really lined up that well, so let me line that up again. I told you this is a pain. All right, so let's just line up the corner and then try and line up the other corner. Hopefully this works. Okay, so I think I lined it up pretty good. Uh, let's push out all these other air bubbles. And... Well, pretty much this is just pushing out air bubbles, so let's just fast forward here. Okay, so I told you I'm not a pro at this, so there's a little bit of a gap, but oh well, that's just what it's gonna be maybe I'll redo it one day but right now this is the best that you guys are gonna see but yeah not too bad I like how it feels it feels really good and yeah I have a broken tempered glass just ignore that but either way it feels really good the texture is pretty cool um, seems to kind of be a little bit grippy which I think that's what they're going for all right so let's put the camera thing on there let's clean this up and throw that on not gonna be that difficult so I'm just gonna line up the corners and hope that it fits. And if anything, you can add like a little bit of pressure on one side and then kind of like slide it into place. Works out pretty good. Okay, I think I got it on there pretty good. So yeah, that uh, looks pretty cool. I like it. I don't know if you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Looks pretty nice. Feels nice. Looks nice. What more can you ask for? Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it in a case. Still looks pretty cool though. Okay, so as you saw, there was like a spare little camera thing. So I'm just gonna throw it on my uh, my secondary camera phone just to add a little bit of flair, you know? That's fun. No one's ever gonna see this. And if they buy this phone, they're just gonna take it off. Oh well. 
looks pretty cool. Now on to the iPhone 10. So initially I was supposed to buy this for a black one, but all I have right now is a silver one. So that's what we're going to have to deal with. Either way, let's uh, get this started. So let's recap. What we're going to do is we're going to use the carbon fiber and the, well, actually we're not going to use this one. Uh, there's nothing in there. So either way, we're going to use the carbon fiber and we're going to put the yellow carbon fiber onto the back of it. So I was thinking about using the black camo, but I don't have a phone that I'm going to keep forever. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Who knows? We'll see. So let's try the glass part first, and then we'll go on to the full cover of this. So let's clean up the back just like the S9 Plus, and then we'll grab the piece and hopefully we can install it. Wish me luck. Okay, so this one's somewhat easier because you have the camera lens and the logo to kind of line it up. And then obviously the rest of the phone, but I don't know, we'll see having a little bit of difficulty with this just keeping it straight so I'm gonna go a little bit farther down and hopefully I can line it up okay I messed up there let's try one more time okay so that looks like it's good enough so let's get rid of these air bubbles and turn this phone back off because I want it off I don't want it on all right like like I said I'm not that good at this and especially with the camera angle that I have this it's a little bit difficult to do, but. Okay, so I think I got it now. All right, let's expose the rest of this and hopefully it's on right. Uh, let's see. Push this down, try and get rid of all the air bubbles. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's clean up the logo and admire what an awesome job I just did. Looks pretty cool. I think it would look better on the black iPhone just because it would kind of match with the bezel, but I don't have one of those, so we're gonna have to deal with this. All right, so just like the camera lens on the S9 Plus, this is gonna be a little bit difficult to do, and I mean, I don't know. You can kind of do the same thing, kind of set it down a little bit, move it into place, and then add pressure to make the adhesive touch. That's what I did, so hopefully this works for you. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I can't tell for sure if it's off, but Looks fine to me, so I guess that's all that matters, right? Yeah, I can see how someone would like this, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling the whole, you know, back glass only sort of thing. This would be cool if I had like one of those bumper cases, but for now I'm just gonna rip this off and let's try the other one. So this one's a little bit more intimidating because it has the sides on there. And uh, I don't know, hopefully we can do good on this. I highly doubt it though. All right, so what do we do? I guess the same thing, line up the camera lens and the logo. Now let's try that out. All right, looking good so far, except for these buttons. They're not. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to try this again because the buttons are not lining up. So let's try, let's try with the side buttons first. Okay, let's try with the side button first. And then we'll go with the other ones. So let's see, line this up, line that up, line up the SIM card tray. Looking good so far. And I guess the corner just sits like that. I don't, I don't know what to do. All right, let's remove the rest of this adhesive and uh, get down to business. And yeah, it's not gonna work. Um, you know what? I'll just line up the side buttons and I'll figure out the back of that. All right, so this is, this is a pain. Why is this so difficult? All right, I think I, no, let's try this again. Okay, good enough, kind of. Whatever, it's, it's somewhat lined up. I'm not gonna have it perfectly on there right now. Uh, or maybe I will. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let me let me set the sides down. All right, so, so far the sides look fine. All right, now we just gotta figure out the back, and I don't know, I guess, 
I don't know, it's kind of like stuck on the camera lens. You can see like the huge air bubble on the left side. All right, let's see if we can get rid of that. And lifting it down does not help because it looks like it's tearing on the right. Yeah, it's not good. All right, well, I already ruined the skin, but let's try and recover it. All right, so I guess we'll just push out this air, just put it in the middle, and then eventually it'll just come out, right? I don't know. Yeah, this is uh, a little bit difficult to do. I think this is a better look, but this is definitely not as easy as just putting the back on. All right, and how do these how do these corners sit down? I don't get it. All right, well let's let's get the sides down, and then we'll get the, the top and the bottom down. Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. Okay, so the bottom's down. The top is kind of down, I guess. All right, so these corners like fold in and then they, you just push on the sides. I don't, I don't get this. I don't know, maybe let's, let's try some heat. How about that? Okay, yeah, heating up the sides definitely helps. That kind of like makes it set down. I don't know if using this is overkill, but this is definitely what you're supposed to do. And then you kind of kind of heat it up and then you push it into place and then everything looks all good. All right, so let's heat up the side too. See if we can get rid of all of that air bubble area. So pretty much you got to you got to line up the sides and then you got to heat up the corners. This is difficult. Even for me, this is difficult. I mean, not saying that I put D brand skins on these phones a lot, but a little more than I thought it was gonna be. S9 was definitely way better. I think I bought one for an iPhone. I don't remember what iPhone I had, but I don't remember doing this. Maybe it was just the sides. Maybe it was just the front. I don't know, I don't remember. Okay, so that's looking good. Let's heat up the bottom a little bit. And, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Just got this top piece left. And, yeah, pretty good. Uh, this other piece is lifting up as well. Uh, let's heat that. I wonder if I can add too much heat, like if it will, if it'll like melt it or something. What if, like, the piece falls off? I don't know. I want to be done with this. <laughs> this is so much work. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good. It's powered on, see how easy it is to touch these buttons and all that. Yeah, looking pretty good. I think I messed up this side, but... I don't know. Not that bad. Let's keep it up, see if we can... Yeah, that's whatever. You can't really see it on the camera, but in real life it looks a little odd. But yeah, not too bad. Just like the S9 Plus, it feels pretty good in the hands, especially since it goes around the phone. It feels pretty awesome. So yeah, these are the skins. Uh, hopefully this video didn't take too long and 
Hopefully I didn't waste your time or anything like that, but I don't know. feels pretty cool. Um, I like how on the iPhone 10 it goes around the sides. It kind of sucks that on the S9 Plus they don't have anything like that, but I don't know. There must have been a reason for that. See, on the bottom it doesn't have stuff that goes around the port, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a pain to do, because like on the iPhone 10 it was a pain to do, so maybe that's why they don't do it. I don't know. I think it would look a little bit better, but I still like the S9 Plus. I still think it's pretty awesome. Uh, goes nicely with the black. I wonder what it would look like on other phones. To have the black camo, obviously. But yeah, these are pretty good. I don't know what you think about it. Let me know in the comment section below on Twitter at MattAvardaVR. Also, feel free to follow me on the social media listed above that I'm pointing at and making sure that you see. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel if you can. That would be pretty awesome. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, go check out Dbrand check out all the stuff that they have i think i got like 25 percent off or something like that i don't have any coupon codes or anything like that because they don't sponsor my videos so maybe they can you guys should tell them i don't know tell them to sponsor my videos maybe i can give something away who knows that'd be cool if they did but either way they're a pretty awesome company you should go check them out thanks for watching